Mitchell Lee, the day has finally come, our wedding day. The day we stand before our friends and family, and most importantly, our Lord and Savior, to become one. It feels like forever that we've waited for this day to get here. And I don't just mean since the day we got engaged, but long before you and I ever even met. All those years ago, when I'd sit and pray for a godly man to come into my life, I had no idea the Lord had someone as amazing as you planned for me. Mitchell, when we first met, I wasn't really sure what would come of our relationship. What I did know is that you were fun to be around, and I could tell that without a doubt, you effortlessly and wholeheartedly loved our Creator. After a couple of weeks, we decided to sit down and really talk about where this was going. It was obvious you had forethought that conversation with about six passages of Scripture ready at hand. You told me how you wanted to treat your sister in Christ, and you told me how you wanted to treat and love your future wife one day, probably not knowing that that would be me. But that's when I knew. It was evident you wanted to be very intentional about our relationship and do what you could to lead us in a way I had never known before. Because of this, I had seen husband-like qualities in you, and I knew it was something I had to pursue. From then on, the rest was easy. Babe, you made loving you easy. With your silly sense of humor, charming good looks, compassionate and loving personality, and immense heart for the Lord. Mitchell, to stand here next to you as we prepare our hearts to say I do and step into this new life together brings me much joy. My daily prayer for our marriage is that we would always do our best to display to a watching world how Christ loved the church. I promise to live first unto our God and then unto you, loving you, obeying you, and caring for you. I know without a doubt that the Lord has prepared me for you, and so I promise to always strengthen, help, comfort, and encourage you in your walk with Him all the days of our lives. I love you more than anything, Mitchell Lee Timmer, and I am so excited that today I get to become your wife. Now, let's get married. as you read earlier, I knew a month into dating that you were the one. I remember writing that letter over a year and a half ago, just dreaming of the day you would walk down the aisle. I ultimately didn't know whether or not we would get married because I certainly can't assume I know the Lord's will. But what I was certain of was that I loved you. I knew that you were the most beautiful girl I had ever seen and the girl that made me smile and laugh the most. I just think back to that girl standing across the room at 710 and thinking how crazy cool it would be to just be Instagram friends. And now I'm standing before you about to get married. I can truly say that it has been the grace of God in our lives that we are even together. And I can't wait to stand before him today and proclaim my love for you. These past couple years have been the best years of my life. I can truly say that you are my best friend. We have gone on so many trips and I can't wait for more to come. As I stand before you today, Paige, I want you to know how much I love you and how I will commit myself every day to loving you more and more. I can't wait to have kids with you and grow our little family. I can't wait to be the old couple at the wedding, being the last ones on the dance floor for the anniversary dance. I can't wait for grandkids with you. But before we get too crazy, I just can't wait to stand with you before all of our family and friends today and make the biggest decision of my life, which happens to be the easiest decision of my life. Paige, I stand before you today, committed, committing my love to you before God. I promise to sacrificially love and serve you for the sake of Christ, to display those same characteristics to a watching world. I understand that as we get married today, that we have the opportunity and calling to share the gospel through our marriage by the way we treat one another. As we see in scripture, marriage is the clearest representation of Christ's love for his church. And because of that, we know that Satan will do anything to tear that apart. But I promise that I will depend on the Lord for my strength to serve you and love you. Christ did not come to condemn the world, but to save it. He did not come to be served, but to serve. So Paige, with Christ as my example, I promise to not condemn you or expect to be served, but I will serve you because I am called to in love. Christ loved us and redeemed us, not because of what we have done or what we have accomplished. It was by grace and grace alone. My covenant to you, Paige, is not one that is meant to be broken. 
Just as Christ will not break his covenant with his people, I will not break mine with you. I love you so much, Paige, and promise to be the God-fearing man that you and your parents have prayed for. You mean the absolute world to me and plan to show you that more and more as each day comes. From one month into dating till now, I've waited for this day and I'm so happy that it is here. Let's go get married, babe.